Today I'm going to run a series of Quake 3 benchmarks on the Silicon Graphics Tesra, and in order to keep all things equal I'm going to make use of the time demo feature in Quake 3. This is very useful in order to benchmark various machines and also ascertain the performance that you'll get with various settings. I'm going to be using high settings in a windowed mode for the first benchmark. You initiate the time demo feature in Quake 3 by going into the console and firstly typing in backslash time demo space 1 followed by backslash demo space 4. In this benchmark, with maximum settings, the machine achieved a 24.5 frames per second average. Now I'm going to try it in a full screen mode with a 32 bit color depth to see if there's any difference. Again the machine achieved a 24.5 frame per second average showing that there's absolutely no difference with these settings. Finally I'm going to run the benchmark with the lowest settings possible to see what difference it makes. This time the machine achieved a 38.2 frames per second average, but the game looked terrible. Now you've seen the SGI Tesra's Quake 3 performance across a range of settings. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.